Hey guys, it's me. How's it going? I know it's been a little while, um, but I'm coming at you with the Sigma review, finally. Check it out. Hi guys, how's it going? It is finally time for me to give you my thoughts and impressions after having spent some serious time with the BCN 3D Sigma. I've had it for a few months and due to some special circumstances um, on the side of BCN 3D and also me starting a new job and some stuff going on, I ended up having it for longer than I expected and I got to print a bunch of stuff for a client in that time and used the Sigma just to uh, take advantage of the fact that I had it a little bit longer and that allowed me to really evaluate the printer even more and Yeah, that was great. But anyway, let's jump in the Sigma has been reviewed by other people So if you want to get the specs Go watch one of their videos. I'm not going to give that to you. It's you can google it if it's googleable <laughs> I'm not going to bother to go into too much detail Suffice it to say it's an awesome 3d printer that can print very high resolution But the most important thing as you're seeing in these videos here is their um, independent dual extrusion system which allows you to print with two heads that move along the same linear rail and you end up with amazing prints like this one that was printed with PVA. Um, a moment ago there you saw the PVA supports dissolve in water. The result are parts that almost look like they could have been done on an SLA machine without the expensive SLA part. <laughs> really happy with how this link model turned out it's so cool it's on my mini factory and we'll link to it below now it really what it comes down to is what you're seeing right here it shouldn't be exciting to talk about calibration but i really believe in ux and one of the biggest things i focus on when i review a 3d printer is the quality of the user experience and um, where the rubber meets the road in ux is in calibration with a 3d printer especially with dual extrusion because a lot of dual extrusion systems lose their customer when it comes to poor calibration because it's like a paintbrush I know get ready because this is one of my uh, famous analogies when a painter becomes truly comfortable with a paintbrush then he can focus on his art if you know he's not comfortable with it if it feels foreign then he, you spend too much time focusing on that paintbrush and I feel like something as awesome as multi-material printing it's not useful if you have to spend all of your time calibrating it and getting it to work. It should be something that works so well that you don't even have to worry about it. That you take it for granted even. And I feel like BCN 3D is really close to that. Especially just because their calibration is so solid. So you end up getting awesome prints. And to me, honestly, the PVA stuff is the real value add with multi-material printing. Because it makes FDM printing that much closer to... Um, you know, at least competing with SLA and some of the other technologies on the market. It makes it more practical. It allows you to print parts that sometimes would require significant redesigns to work with FDM printing. You know, if you do a lot of printing like I do for um, prototyping clients, you run into problems where you either have to go back and say, hey, can you um, redesign this so I can print it easier? Or you have to use a ton of supports that make the end part kind of just look ugly. So I'm crazy impressed with this machine. I do have a few minor gripes. One is that the text doesn't scroll from the LCD when you're selecting a part. Um, the purge trays could be a little bit bigger. That's where the filament purges into when it's parked over here. You can see that. Those are super minor. And then maybe a few feature requests like um, having an ability from the LCD to swap the extruders um, in case you wanted to switch on the side the material was on. I have once loaded up PVA on one side and PLA on the other and realized I sliced my G-code for the other way around and that would be a really easy thing to do. I know other companies have that functionality so fortunately those are all software things except for the purge tray but the purge tray is removable anyway so they're things that could definitely be improved on. Oh wow and I almost forgot to talk about the actual problems I had that were mostly unique to my circumstance. 
we had a few problems with the firmware for the LCD and um, it became difficult to fix with my Mac. It's a lot easier to do on a Windows machine. And then the other minor problem we had was with a mistake that I made that resulted in one of the magnets um, detaching from the glass bed. And then we had fun with FedEx trying to get a replacement. It took three shipments for an unbroken glass bed to arrive to me from Spain. But so this is really all I have to say at the moment about the BCN 3D Sigma. I spent quite a bit of time with it and I'm really happy. You can see um, all sorts of stuff that I've done with it in this video. In the beginning we also went through a few parts. You can see some of the other things I printed there but the quality of the prints are just amazing and I wanted to show you a few of those so you can get an idea of the quality but again it really just comes down to user experience. The user experience is so good and to me that's what makes it a great 3D printer and makes it totally worth the money. Thank you guys for checking out my review of the BCN 3D Sigma. If you would like to see it in Spanish, there's a Spanish video as well that I'm uploading here in a moment. Thank you for your time and your attention. Keep on making awesome stuff, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.